All right, so Emily, what, what is going on with Pipkin right now? It has a botfly larva. Say that again. Yeah, speak up, sweetie. Botfly larva. A, a botfly? Yeah. And it's a larvae? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, is this something that rabbits will get, especially domesticated rabbits? Yes. And I understand that our vet doesn't do rabbits, so we're kind of forced to research it ourselves and figure out what to do ourselves, right? Mm-hmm. So, Amy, what are we doing right now? I was suctioning it um, to get it to the surface. You can actually see its mouth. Last night we pulled one out and of one of her babies. And I don't, can you hold that right there? I don't touch the tips. So I use the syringe. And sorry, girl. And then I just take it. And then I put it right here. And then sometimes you can suction them out with this. Um, but I can't. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this sucker out, but. Is this something the rabbit will normally recover from? I don't know. Sometimes they can, hold on Alex. So we have to constantly watch for infection and. There, there it is. Yeah, so uh, this is not a good thing. That is the botfly larvae. I don't wanna leave any in it. There's the rest of it. So there you go. So if you'll kind of kind of look at the wound it leaves behind. That was a small one. Last night, last night we pulled one out of her baby. It was much bigger, but you see it leaves kind of a wound. And so what we do is we take it and use this stuff. It's a, a blue coat. It's a germicide, fungicidal wound dressing, um, antiseptic and we spray in there again we try to get the vet to do this and our vet does not do this and recommended another vet but that vet i could not get through mm -hmm. um i couldn't get through to that vet so we ended up having to take matters into our own hands because um we unfortunately couldn't wait on this and so Emily researched this, and this is a botfly larvae. You don't want them to come apart. This one did, but this one worked out well because it was young, and um, because it did come apart, we were able to pull out the rest of it. Last night, the botfly larvae was much bigger, like this long, and um, we we squished that sucker, and we we treated her baby. Obviously, she's uncomfortable. Can you show her? She's very still. Um, Emily does a great job handling her, but she's extremely still, and she allowed us to do that. So um, she should feel instant relief from having that out of her. And Emily and I will constantly watch her, and we will keep treating her. Now, the baby from yesterday, whose hole was much bigger than this one, that hole has already closed up. It's healing. There's no signs of infection. There's no smell. There's no pus. Um, so we're hoping the same for this one. And did that cause an, an effect on how much weight the baby was growing? I don't know that answer, Emily. Uh, I don't really think so. I mean, it was just like an ounce less. Okay, so it may have had a small effect to it, but hopefully now that we've gotten rid of it and we've treated it, the baby's will continue to put on weight so that we can eventually either sell them or harvest them well, uh, with, for meat. Well, with pasture-raised animals, we find they, they tend to grow a little bit slower, but they're eating so much healthier. You know, it's a healthy weight they're putting on. It's no different than humans. You know, if you want to put on weight fast, you eat a bunch of junk. Well, animals are the same. If you want to feed them junk, then they'll put on weight fast. But if you want them healthy, then you definitely want to, um, feed them on pasture and give them healthy foods. Oh, perfect stuff. All right. Well, hopefully now that uh, we've gotten that out, we'll here, keep girl. an eye on the rest of our rabbits as it's her foot is stuck. Yeah, her foot's stuck. <laughs> Emily, can you help me? 
Uh, but we'll keep an eye yeah, on girl. the babies and make sure no more bot flies there we go. You know, attack our rabbits and there we go. Um, plant eggs or anything like that. So uh, keep in touch and we'll keep on checking our, our animals. Have a great day.